Hi, everybody. This is Lisa Knight, the Las Vegas So Girl. How is everybody this afternoon? It is a gorgeous day in Las Vegas. It's getting a little chillier, if we can call it chilly. It's just a little bit less hot. <laughs> it's not super chilly yet, um, but the wind is kicking up and we are getting um, weather. So I am going to wait a couple moments. I'm sorry that I was a little bit late. I had some technical issues with the computer and I am coming to you from my laptop and I'm going to be doing a demonstration on the patch and applique maker software created by Dime. I've been having so much fun um, working with it. Some of you may or may not know, um, I've been a dime educator for many years and have just recently gone back to doing um, work with them after, you know, time off with the pandemic and not having events and, and having life happen here in our home. Um, so I have been doing demos for them and I just started doing the patch maker and applique party and I am so excited about this product. I thought you guys would like to know about it too. Hi Liz from Golden Garden Valley, California. I don't know where that is, but I'm sure it's pretty. Pretty much everywhere in California is pretty. Um, so I'm just waiting a moment or two Liz to let a couple more people get in here and then we will get started. But I have the patch and applicator, applique maker software creates patches, super easy, super quick, also does all kinds of other things. So I'll, I'll do a quick little overview on that. And then we will um, actually create some patches. Hey, Margaret Moody from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I love Albuquerque. It's such a pretty place. Um, been there a few times. The last time I was in New Mexico, I was in Las Cruces. It was just before the world went to sleep for a year. And we didn't work anymore. Um, but this is a fun product and I've got lots of samples to show you as well as I have a link if anybody's interested in the software that you can get it at a, um, an event price because I just did an event and the link is good through the weekend. So... If you're interested, I will definitely put that link up for everybody. Hope everybody's having a good day wherever you are. Um, I was having issues with my little camera that is quite finicky. Um, the one that shows things under the camera so you can see stuff laying on samples. So he was not behaving today, which is not out of the ordinary. He is very picky and only likes to be used when you restart the computer, which I forgot to do this morning. So I had to do that real quick. So, well, it looks like it might just be us guys and that's fine. And everybody can come back and watch later. Um, but I am going to get started and I'm going, I've shared my screen and I'm going to go ahead and bring up Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to bring up the camera, the document camera. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Hope the weather where you are is awesome. Um, so I'm going to bring up my document camera so everybody can see samples. So I'm just going to move that real quick. And I guess I need to turn my sample pad around because everything's upside down for you guys. And I don't want that. Don't mind the movement. Oh, you know what? The only thing that was upside down is this top sample. All right. Let's try that again. <laughs> All right. So we're going to learn how to create patches, how to create patches that we can customize. We're going to learn about materials that make our patches look extremely professional. Um, I've got some really cute ones that... I did for my granddaughters for dance bags, which I love this idea because what I did was my daughter had called me and they live in New York and we were just getting ready to go visit the other um, daughter and my two grandsons. And she said, I'm sending you these dance bags 
can you embroider on them? And I was like, ooh, time out, stop. We're not going to be in town. Don't send them. I don't want them to sit on the front porch for a while. Um, so I told her, I said, I can make a patch. Wouldn't that be just as good? So I created these cute little patches in this patch and applique maker software. Um, and what I love about the software is because we can do patches in most of our machines, um, depending on what you have, but some machines don't have the capabilities. And a lot of the machines don't have the capabilities to create lots of different shapes and already have pre done shapes in them. So that's why I'm showing you this today. I've been doing a ton of really cute patches and I wanted to share. So this one is a button label. And what I love about it is that you can customize this and change this to say flour or sugar or, you know, cotton balls or whatever you want it to say. Um, for me, I made buttons because it made sense. Um, and then we have these shapes. So you could actually make this shape and put whatever you want on it and it put all the accessories that you want. And it also put um, little buttonholes so that I'd have a place to run my ribbon so that it would attach, attach to my um, canning jar. And I'll show you a few more patches we have here. I think some fell on the floor. Oops, we will find them. Um, these are some that we have in there that are little, what I call merit badges, and they're all resizable. So you can do one teeny tiny, or you can do a bigger one. You, the software will save in an FCM or a um, SVG format, so you can do all your shapes pre-cut. If you have a digital cutter, if you don't have a digital cutter, I'll show you how to go about doing that and having your shapes cut. In, isn't he or she cute? I love, I love this little guy. And this one I did, this was one face here and then I, I stole a few little elements and created this face because this is my favorite way to laugh out loud to laugh out loud until you cry. This one has mylar in it. I don't know if we can get the sparkle or not. The sheen. Uh, you can kind of see it, but not as good as you can when you're looking directly at it. I love using mylar. So let me bring up me again and see if there's any questions. You can't see any, what can't, why can't you see my patches? Hmm, hold on, make sure that we have it shared. Let's see, share. We'll stop sharing and then we'll reshare. Let's do that. I'm not sure why you can't see them. So I'm going to pull up my other view so I can see your comments because I'm not able to see the comments at the very moment. Give me two seconds and we will get the comments up.
So I'm going to ask a question and hopefully I'll be able to see. Can you see that? Let me know. So give me a thumbs up if you can see the rise and shine patch. Yes. All right. Let's go back. Was it that you couldn't see them at all or was it that you couldn't see them because it wasn't close enough? So I just need a little clarification. If somebody could let me know. You could only see my face, but you can see the patches now. Yes. I see the patches because I'm actually on the live so that I can see what your comments are. All right, so let's go back. So the first ones I was talking about was taking designs that you own and creating your own patch. So this is a design that I purchased from, um, I believe, Embroidery Library and created the patch and was able to make the little dance bags for my my granddaughters. And then this one is a patch utilizing mylar. So I'm not sure you're able to see the sheen. But this has been stitched over mylar. It looks great in person. And then we have these little sewing, what I call merit badges. They look like merit badges to me. And there's all lots of cute ones that you can do. And the cool thing is, is that you can actually change the wording. So if you've got a clever saying or a saying that maybe you and your friends who sew together say, you could put your saying on there. And we'll, we'll look at that in the software in a minute. And then this one is laughing out loud until you're crying. And we talked about that a minute ago, but you guys couldn't see it. So I just borrowed the tears from a different emoji. And then utilizing pre-cut shapes helps you get a really nice professional finish. And we'll talk about what this material is in a minute. And then this one is, um, I love to quilt. It's coming up. I see there's a little bit of a delay for me as far as watching it. So these are a lot of fun. And I'm going to switch back to me, I think. Well, actually, no, not me. I'm going to switch to the, to, um, the software actually the PowerPoint because I do not have the software up yet because when I had to restart the computer, that was the one thing I forgot to actually turn on. So this is patch and applicator applique maker software. And I was saying earlier that I have worked for dime for probably about almost seven years. It's going on. And I've been a, an educator with them. And I was a traveling educator for many years. Um, when the world shut down, I 
stayed at home and didn't work for quite a while. And this year I've decided to come back and um, be part of their virtual education team. And so we've been doing, this is a new product that we've launched just recently. And I thought, I've been having so much fun. I thought I'd tell you guys about it. It's patch, um, the, it designs and creates custom patches quickly and easily. So no matter what kind of embroidery machine or technology you already have, this will make it super simple for you to make. It has over 4,300 built-in designs and works out to be about seven cents a patch. Um, you can create the patches from designs you already own, like I was showing you. You can add personalization and text. Um, it's got over 600 ready-to-stitch patch designs, 110 patch templates, 410 shapes, and things that you can make with, app, um, with applique with mylar and foam and um, metallic thread. So let's come out of here, go back to me. And I'm real quick need to I need to make get the software up. So pardon me for just a moment. Let's open that real quick. So I hope everybody's having a good weekend. I apologize for this quick little open the, open the software, but I've got a lot of things loading right now, loaded right now. So it's going to take just a moment. There we go. So when it opens, it looks like this. And I'm going to open a single page. I'm also going to come over here. Click on this so it's just this software we're working with. Because one of the cool things is when you have the other software, they'll play together. Um, but I really just want to show you what this software can do. So we have a blank design page right now. Um, I'm going to come into here to Applique's designs and show you the different things. So you have all these badges that you can work with. You have cute things for baby, um, Christmas. And one of the things I love about this, if you see, if you notice, there's a little plus sign here, which means there's more information inside this file. So when you click on it, you'll see it says parts and patch. If you click on patch, these are finished patches with all the edges around them. If you click on parts, these are bits and bobs that you can create your own designs. Like for instance, this package, has no bow on it right now. It has a ribbon, but no bow. So you could choose which bow you like. Or if you wanted to create um, a design around this little cute little girl, you could create that. Or if you wanted something with some holly berries or a little penguin and a holly leaf, you could create your own little ensemble. Or you could come back up here to Christmas and they're all sort of put together for you um, and you can choose what you'd like to do with them. One of the things that I did was I took, um, I believe it was this one here. 
Well, let's do that. Bring it in. So you've got a nice little Christmas ornament here. And it comes in grouped. So when I select it, I can ungroup it. Because one of the things I'd like to do is get rid of these little dots. And so I can easily just delete those out. And then I can come up and choose some text. And I can come over here and click on the text to see what's available. And let's see. I think I want something that looks kind of script-like. So we we'll click on brush. I'm going to highlight my A and type what I'd like to type. Lights. Actually, I want to put the nights. Put it on two different lines. Click apply. I definitely don't want it that big, so I can change the size of it. I can use the little bars here to change it, or I can tell it approximately what size I would like. So I think. 0 0.50 is about what I want. Maybe just a smidge smaller. Let's go down to 40. And set it in here. Now I can use the handles because this will help me be able to... Oops, not that way. <laughs> I can change this to make it not to move the G. Hold on. Grab the wrong thing. Let's get this little dot here. I could change that like that. I could make it curved at the top. Um, I can change the spacing. You have unlimited undos and redos with, with Dime software, so you can always change that. I think I want to make this about 38 just to make it fit a smidge better. There we go. And then down here, I can add the year. Bring that down to about 38 also. I can tell it I want it to be a pre-cut patch. I can come here and grab my select button so that I can select both of these and align them so they're aligned up vertically. I can also select this ring on my ornament and click on align as well. And then it'll center it on the ornament. And as quick as that, I've created the design that's pleasing. I'm going to click on my um, outer circle. And this little shirt up here. Is going to let me change the style. So just think style and fashion shirt. That's your icon to a pre cut patch because I want to cut this patch on my digital cutter. Or if I don't have a digital cutter, I can always ask it to print me a template so that I have a pattern to cut it out exactly right. Saves on waste. So now it's changed this to what I want there. And then in order to cut it, all I need to do is come up here to this icon that kind of looks like a saw in, um, in your workshop. It's a little saw blade. And there it is. And then down here in the drop down, I tell it what I have to um, cut. So I'll scan and cut or SVG for the other types of um, digital cutters. Or like right here, if I don't have a digital cutter, I can click on paper. And paper is going to 
give me a file that I, a PDF file that I can print. So I'm going to say, scan and cut, save it. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. So I'm just going to say ornament or yeah, just or, orna. I cannot spell today. Let's just put ornament. So I, I'm not asking myself what in the world this is later because I will be. And then I look through the list and find scan and cut FCM, click on it. Or if I have a different one, I would look for SVG and save it. And I did something wrong. Hmm. I must have chose the wrong outline. So we would have to go back and choose it, the different outline. Let's see. What did I choose wrong? That should do it. So you would do the same process and save it. And then you could save it onto a flash drive and take it to your scan cup. So one of the other things that I created that I thought was super cute is, and I'm just going to merge it in so you can see it, and then I'll show you how I made it. So merge. So these I'm actually making as um, some patches for a Halloween bag. And, you know, one of the things is kids don't need a new Halloween bag every year, but it's fun to make them. But you could also create patches, make one nice Halloween bag and make them a new patch. And then you could add the text for that year. And I go back to Bauhaus. And we could put this wherever we had space. And this would be a real fun way to commemorate um, Halloween that year. I kind of love it. Right, let's, let's make it green like the, her, her name. You have all kinds of um, thread palettes you can work with. I've got mine set to exquisite because that's the majority of the thread I have. But as you can see, there's all kinds of thread. So whatever thread library you have, I'm sure we can match it. And all I have to do to change that color is to right click on that. And now it matches. So let me show you how I created this. So I'm going to open a new file. I'm going to go to my file that has that little owl in it. I think I have to go up and out of here. To remember where exactly I, it's on my flash on my external hard drive. So zero designs. Need to look for bunny cup. Hmm. I think I have to go up one. There we go. This zero designs file is where I need to look. And bunny cup, Halloween fun set. Where's my little owl right there? I need to group it because for some reason this company stuff doesn't come in grouped. And I want to make this a bit smaller. Let's go two inches. 
All right. So we've got our design that we want to use. And then we're going to go into shapes and go to holiday. Halloween. That little pumpkin. Line it up a little bit so that the little owl is towards the bottom of the pumpkin. I think I still need to make her just a little bit smaller. Let's line up the pumpkin. And all I'm doing to do that is holding down my control key and selecting both of them. And then I'm coming up here to horizontal center align so that they're both aligned. Bring that up just a smidge, center it on the page. And then I can add my text. So I click on the page, tell it what I'd like it to say. Kennedy, I believe I made this about 35-ish. Don't remember exactly. Maybe a little bit bigger than that, but that's okay. And then I also put it in a circle. And I'm going to stop in a second to see if there's questions and answer some questions. So with the circle, I can also change the shape of my circle. So to have it sit nicer, I grab that little green dot there and scooch it down. And then I can select all of these and center all of those. Um, I can put my Twenty twenty one down here, and you probably noticed that I had changed. Oops, changed some colors of my um, owl, just for so that I could see what colors I would want to have in different places because I don't like how it came in with so much brown, um, which is not really a big problem because you know we can put the colors where we want them. But I kind of wanted to see what I thought of the colors, changing the owl's eyes, changing the color of the moon. And for the moon, I'm actually gonna use um, some glow in the dark thread from OESD that I bought to make pumpkins, which hopefully I'm gonna get around to making pumpkins this year, but so far I haven't got them done yet. So the lace ones. So now that we've got all our text and our um, little owl where we want her, we can come up here to our select button and we can select our pumpkin outline shape, come up here to style, that t-shirt icon, click on pre-cut patch. And what this does is it actually changes the way it stitches down. So not only is it going to um, let it know that I want this to be a patch, but instead of a tack down stitch that's a running stitch, it's going to give me a tack down stitch that is a um, zigzag. So it'll have a nice cleaner neater. And it's also going to tell the, the design that we want a certain amount of stitching on the fabric and a certain amount over the edge of the fabric to give it nice clean look. So now we've got that done we should come up here and also let it know that we want to have, make it a pre-cut patch and set it up and save it. So I'm going to say pumpkin entity, save it in the format I need. So like I said, you can do it in Brother Scan and Cut, SVG. We also have AutoCAD and Plotter files, if you know what those are, and Adobe Illustrator. For me, Scan and Cut. Save it. 
and it'll pop up in a second and let us know that those files are there and I could put them on my flash drive See right there. We don't need that right now. So I'm going to close out. And the other thing I want to do is add the fabric feature so that I can see how this is going to look. So I can come up here to my fabrics and I'm going to choose this fun little witchy poo purple or lavender. And I do need to let it know that I want this to go to the back. So I click right click on the color in the, in the sequence view, click on order. And I want to put it to the back. So now I can come here and change the color of my text to that nice green. Oops, didn't mean to, I meant to make the pumpkin orange. Do the pumpkin in orange, the text in green, and there you go. So let me come back here and check and see if you guys have questions. So do we have questions? Any? I don't see any questions at the moment. So I'm going to switch which camera I have going and go to the next layer so you guys can see what the material is and how you go about creating it to have that material. Okay. So what this is, it's called um, Poly Patch Twill. And it's a product that Dime, that's been in the industry for a long time. It's just not been readily available to consumers, home, home consumers. Um, and if, it, if you were able to find it, you had to buy a large quantity, which you know, isn't always reasonable. And you had to buy a large quantity of the same color. So what's nice about this is that it's already got a um, material fused to the back of it. So you don't have to use stabilizer with it. It has the color on the front. It's pretty stiff. Back, I'm going to bring the camera up just a smidge so you can see this a little bit better. It's, it's pretty stiff, but it's not so hard that you can't stitch through it. Um, we recommend that you use a sharp needle. It comes in sheets of nine inches wide and 24 inches long. And you get eight sheets in, your, um, in each package of it. And there's three different colorways. So lots of fun with that. The three different colorways are athletic, uniform, and brights. These are this is my ornament that I made. And wouldn't these be great um, in your holiday card to just be able to make a quick little ornament? And then you would want to put the same thread in the bobbin as in the um, top thread and that way when it stitches it will have a uniform finish on the back so I just fused a piece of the poly patch tool on the back so it have a finished look and you could even put a little greeting on there but I think that I'm going to definitely pop these into my greeting cards this year One of the other things you can do is you're able to um, customize the pre-done templates. So I'm going to show you the templates in a second. But these are all done with the templates where you can take your patch design, tell it what you want it to say, and then change the charm here 
to match whatever it is you're trying to promote or to enjoy or let people know that you enjoy or have your, you know, grandkids or family. Cause I know that one of the things that I, one of the first things that I ever was asked to do when I got an embroidery machine was, can you make patches? So, um, this is, this is a way to get to be able to make patches. So there's the one we created. So let's open up a new design and go into our template. But quickly, let's go back to the applique shapes just so you can see, because I did that kind of quick. But you have Christmas. I mean, I'm actually making a snow globe right now and using those little charms. Um, but you've got little gingerbread, you've got jester hat, you've got that, they say that was a Christmas present, but it kind of looks like a dreidel to me. Um, or, you know, you could create it into a dreidel. You have your own Christmas ornament shape. Um, Easter, super cute ones. Valentine's Day, you've got some cute little hearts. Uh, got some things for the ocean, shell shapes. So these are all shapes. The other thing is that you're not limited to just what's in the software. You can always bring in your own SVG shapes, which I think is pretty cool. So these are the, the ones that are in template form. So when you open this, you've got all these different um, options. And one of my favorite things is to be able to... Um, come down here to sewing because I know we all sew and pick one of these. So let's do this one. And now the template is customizable. You can change the design in it and it's going to bring up all the charms. And the one that I'm going for is holiday because at Valentine's there's a perfect little heart to put in there. So I love to what? And I, I can also change the wording. You know, we could put we there. We love to. And then we can change the um, object. So we could put in for sewing. I love to sew. There's this cute little sewing machine like I did in my sample. Oops, put it in the wrong place. But let's cancel that. I didn't mean to cancel the whole thing. We can fix that real quick. Come back to sewing. Grab this one. Change it go back to holiday, open it up, get my Valentine, say, okay. We were going to change that to we, and then come down here and we're going to change this, this box, not the other one. I forgot to move it. That's why it changed my heart get my little sewing machine and in order to fit it by changing that to we it really kind of threw it off so we we'll go back to I little I big I apply say okay that a normal size so you can see it how it's going to look and you could customize the colors and so forth and just like before you select this change the style for pre-cut you would save the if you're going to pre-cut it and if you wanted to see or try, because these are all, all these colors are the colors um, that are in your sets. So let's see, this is from the bright set of Pat, Poly Patch Twill. 
and there you go. You get to see how it would look with that yellow. And then the charms are in here, and there's just all kinds of cute little charms you can do. So, you know, I heart the Southwest, or I heart to cruise. So if you wanted to, you could swap out your sewing machine to I love cruising. Make it bigger. So fun, right? I'm going to come back to the program and see if I can't bring myself to full screen. Solo layout. So what do you guys think? What would, can you see yourself utilizing a patch um, program? Is this something that interests you? So I'm going to put up the um, PowerPoint that I created real quick, a little, little abbreviated PowerPoint about this and let you see um, what this costs. And, and there's all kinds of other products from Dime that are being sold in this event. And I'm not saying you have to go, but if you're interested, I've provided the link and all the pricing for the event pricing is good through um, Sunday. And so tomorrow evening. And if you wanna buy anything, it also has a free ship code um, so that you can purchase it at a discount and let me i need to share my screen so you guys can see this because it is not showing it so let me make sure i share the screen For whatever reason, it's not behaving for me. So I'll stop sharing that screen and then I will reshare it. So now I should be able to bring up the PowerPoint for you guys to see. So the software bundle is $299 at the event price. It's normally $519.98 for the um, products that you're going to get with the bundle and the software. Software is standalone. It works by itself. You don't need any other programs to work it. Um, you're going to get a free one-on-one -on -one tutoring session. You choose the time and the educator. You get five embroidery software success lessons that are PDFs. They're very helpful to get you working through that um, programs. You'll get the sharp needle sampler pack, which is a hundred needles um, of several different sizes, all chrome plated, all safe for um, embroidery machines, baby lock. I use them all the time. Um, a nonstick pressing sheet. And You'll get it shipped to you for free with the ship code of Candy Treat. And that is, where is my slide that shows the, um, oh goodness, let's figure this out because I have a slide that has the actual link on it. So let me share this screen because there's the link slide. Nope. Not sure why that's not showing, but oops. 
just bring it up like that. So the link is to be able to watch the full presentation if you want to and be able to shop until Sunday night, um, 10, 10, 21. But this is the link right here. If you copy that and paste it into your browser, it should take you there and you could watch the whole presentation and see all the products and you'll also be able to have um, access to the shopping cart. So I hope this looks like fun. If it's something that you're interested in, definitely check it out. But I figured I would give you guys an opportunity to see something different and new and maybe something that was not necessarily specific to the machines that I have. Because um, I know that I have members that don't necessarily have baby lock machines and don't necessarily have the top of the line baby lock machine. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you real quick, because uh, I just remembered, that because the holidays are coming up, one of the things that I know that I like to do for my grandkids is create stockings for them. And because they live far away, it's kind of nice to be able to create a stocking that you can just pop in the mail with some goodies in it. Um, and you can pick them up very inexpensively at all kinds of different stores. But trying to stitch on a stocking presents some specific challenges. So one of the things that I thought with the patch um, ability, and you might be able to do this on your own machine, is to create a patch rather than try to sew on your little stocking. And it made it so much easier. Though the one thing I forgot to show you is the patch maker stabilizer kit that makes these fusible because that's the best part about patches is that they are fusible so don't mind me while i turn around and grab something this is a water soluble stabilizer that you're going to stitch on and this is a fusible um, product called patch attach and it fuses to the back of the patch, and then you can fuse that to the item that you want to put it on. So you can do it on all sorts of things, and you're able to put your patches on all sorts of things in order to get them to adhere, whether it be to fix a problem, maybe you repeatedly spill coffee on your shirt, and you love that shirt, but you you want to you can't get the coffee out. Um, it's a great way to fix it. Or if you accidentally snip it with your sewing while you're sewing because I've done that with a pair of pants before when I'm working on my lap um, and accidentally snipped through my pant leg uh, so you can always fix your pant leg um, what? create little shoes put things on items that are just impossible to stitch on so I hope everybody had a good time Go out and have a great weekend, whether you go out or you stay in and you sew. Whatever makes you happy, do that. Thank you so much for coming and visiting me in the Las Vegas Sewing Lounge. We are always doing something fun and interesting. And sometimes it's something you want to do too. All right. Take care.